first practice ahead of what will be the 70th Formula One World Championship Monaco Grand Prix, and Lewis Hamilton banished months of despair by once again topping a session and doing it on the famous Monte Carlo streets. The seven-time world champion, best of the bunch, for the time of 1 minute 12, 1, 6, 9. The Briton remains the race and track lap record holder here. Monaco is a narrow and technical track. Experience helps, but even past winners can find themselves in testing times. Three-time King of Monte Carlo, Hamilton went bouncing over the curbs at the Nouvelle Chicane on one of his early exploratory laps. Carlos Sainz was another to misjudge his exit of the tunnel, the Spaniard cutting the subsequent chicane completely. Nico Hülkenberg came unstuck at saint -Devot. the German driver locking up and taking to the runoff, executing a neat pirouette to get his Haas back on track. Valtteri Bottas was another pushing a little too hard and going out of bounds at the first corner, and Alex Alvin also took his Williams for an excursion there. Joe Guan Yu made the exit of saint -Devot, but his kick Sauber clattered the wall a little and dislodged his front wing end plate, which Charles Leclerc later encountered. Ah. I took a carbon part under the floor. OK, we'll Fine. check the car. Many drivers call Monte Carlo home, but there's only one man on the grid who was born and raised here. Leclerc would dearly love to win his home race and has even stated that he's not much interested in a mere podium finish. Nothing short of victory will do for the Monegas driver. He was all guns blazing, approaching the swimming pool chicane, cutting across but staying out of trouble. Memories of his crash there in 2021, qualifying perhaps in the back of his mind. Millimetres can make the difference on Monte Carlo streets and Max Verstappen was looking for every opportunity to shave off precious seconds. The defending champ, one of several drivers to kiss the barriers at the swimming pool. The Dutchman scraped the advertising hoardings on several occasions, seemingly fighting his RB20. It's the car, it's running nice, said. Not to be outdone, Red Bull teammate Sergio Perez clipped the traffic bollards in the pit lane entrance. Ayrton Senna holds the record for most victories in Monte Carlo with six. And McLaren have rocked up with a special one-off livery in honour of the great man. Their new yellow, green and blue wrap is a fine tribute to the late multiple world champion whose 35 Grand Prix wins for the Woking team helped them to four consecutive Constructors' Championships with the Brazilian maestro bagging three drivers' crowns in the process. Both McLaren drivers are sporting Ayrton-inspired lids too. And in related news, Pierre Gasly's signed Senna helmet from Imola will be auctioned off, with the proceeds going to the charitable institute that bears the legendary champion's name. Sadly, the Frenchman's first practice was thwarted by technical issues. OK, Pierre, unfortunately, we need a box car this lap. Uh, we've got an issue. What issue? Uh, we've got a PU issue that we need to investigate. So Hamilton finished top from Oscar Piastri, who prevented a Silver Arrow 1-2, the Australian a tenth quicker than George Russell in P3. Lando Norris was P4, meaning that Mercedes-powered cars take the top four spots. Then came Leclerc, Alonso, Stroll, Sonoda, Ricardo, and Carlos Sainz. P11 for Verstappen, then came Perez, Bottas, Magnussen, Albon, Hülkenberg, Sargent, Esteban Ocon, Joe Guanyu, and completing the field, Pierre Gasly.